here in this question, they want us to factorize, and this is a trinomial because it's got an x squared, it's got an x, and then it's got a normal number. Now, this is one of those more interesting kind of trinomials where the number in the front is not a 1. You know, normally we get trinomials that look something like this, and then because this number in the front over here is a 1, then what we normally do is we just look at this number, and we think about what are the different factors of 4. So you could say 2 times 2, 1 times 4. And then you look at those, either these ones or these ones, and you see which ones can help you to make that number. For example, minus 4 plus 1. And then you just say x and x, because that gives you x squared. And then you say minus 4 and plus 1. And then that's how you would do it. But when it's these ones where the number in the front is not a 1, well, then we have to use a different method. Now, I've got a new method I've started using recently. Um, I normally used to use that method where I would put all the numbers here like this. If you know, you know. If you've seen me do this, you'll know what I'm talking about. That method does work, of course, but I found a better way that works quite nicely. So what you do is you write it as x squared minus x instead, and then you take this number, and you multiply it with that one. So it becomes minus 12. So that was the first step. We, we multiply the 2 and minus 6. All that you do now is you go factorize this normally. So you know um, how to do this normal factorizing. And that is where you have two brackets. And then you open up the factors of 12, which is going to be um, 12 can be written as 1 times 12. It could be written as 2 times 6 and 3 times 4. Now, which of those should we use to make minus 1? Well, that would be this one over here. Because I know that if, if we have 3 minus 4, then you're going to have um, 3 minus 4, because that gives us negative 1. And then you're just going to say x like that, x minus 4. And that is how you would factorize this one. But now, remember how we multiplied the 2? Now we're going to divide the 2. Let me show you what I mean by that. Now you're going to divide the 2. So what, what I mean by that is you're now going to go to these two numbers over here, and you're going to divide them both by 2. Okay. Now, can you simplify 3 over 2 any further? No, you can't. So leave that like that for now. What is 4 divided by 2? That just becomes 2. Okay, now we can't leave our answer with a fraction like this. So when you've simplified this fraction as far as possible, the last step I want you to do is just take this number and put it over here. So it becomes 2x plus 3x minus 2. And that is finished. Let me show you, some of you, this might be the first time you've ever seen this method that I've just shown. Let me do another example with you over here quickly. Maybe we'll do another one or two examples just to make sure we, we like this method. So here's another one. Let's go with... 3x squared, take away, oh no, plus 5x, take away 12. Try that one. Okay, so remember, step one, you're going to write it as x squared plus 5x, and then you're going to multiply this number and this number. So that'll be minus 36. So we just, we followed step one, okay? Now, I want you to go factorize this like you normally would. So you would take the number 36, and you would write out all of the factors. So 36 times 1... 2 times 18, 3 times 12, 4 times 9, 6 times 6. And then you're going to try to see which ones of those can make this number. So we know that 4 and 9 can make 5. How? By making it positive 9 and negative 4. Because 9 minus 4 is 5. Okay. Now, because we multiplied by 3 earlier, now we need to divide by 3. So we're going to divide this one by 3, and we're going to divide this one by 3. So what is 9 divided by 3? Well, that is just 3. Can 4 over 3 simplify any further? No, it can't. So then all I want you to do is take that number and put it over there. So that'll become 3x, take away 4. Done. Let's do one more. If you feel like you already have it, well, of course, you don't have to watch any further. But let's try one more for those of you that just want to make sure. So the last one we can try is 2x squared plus 1x, take away 10. Okay, so step one, we're going to write it as x squared plus 1x, and then you're going to multiply this with that, so it becomes minus 20. 
Then I want you to go factorize that one like you normally would. So it's gonna be x and x. So you gotta look at the number 20. So 20 is the same as five times four, uh, 20 times one, 10 times two. Which of those can make the number one? Well, you could easily make a one by using five, take away four. So the five is a positive and the four is a negative. So you remember how we multiplied by two? Now we're gonna divide by two. Okay, so can five over two simplify any further? No, it can't. So then I want you to put the two over there. So it's gonna become two X plus five. Can four divided by two simplify any further? Yes, it becomes two. There's your answer. You see guys, it really does work nicely.